So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm a huge proponent of turning your videos into blog posts. I've talked about it here before, but today I wanna share how I'm now using AI to turn my videos into blog posts so that you can do it too. You can get more traffic to your personal brand, to your YouTube channel, to you. More traffic means more growth, which means more revenue for your business. But if you're new here, my name is Meredith Marsh and here on this channel, I'm here to help you look good, sound good and feel good on camera so that you can build your thriving online business with YouTube. And when it comes to turning your videos into blog posts, it can sound like a daunting process. In fact, it can be a daunting process. I like to think of it as bare minimum blogging because you've already put the time and effort into creating the videos it's already created. You just have to turn it into something that is readable on a page. Now I'm gonna talk about starting with a corrected transcript and then building a blog post from there. But before we get to that point, let's talk about some of the bare minimum basics that you need to have in place for a blog post to even be effective for you at showing up in search results and driving more traffic your way. First thing is you're going to have to decide on your keyword, your search phrase, your key phrase. There's so many different ways of saying it. You can use whatever you have optimized your video for. If you use TubeBuddy or vidIQ or other keyword research tools, and you've put that time and effort into optimizing the YouTube video, generally you can use that key phrase, keyword search phrase, in the blog post optimization as well. And if you're not totally sure, one of the AI tools that I'm gonna show you here in a second might help you figure that out. Once you know what the phrase is that you are going to optimize your blog post for, we're going to let AI pretty much do the rest here, but you're going to have to kind of edit as you go and just make sure that it makes sense. For example, AI loves to be clever and cute and fun. But when it comes to a blog post title, you don't want it to be cutesy or clever. You want it to be clear and SEO optimized. And I'll show you some examples here in just a second. The first thing we need to start with is a clean or corrected transcript. And there are three ways that I use to get that corrected transcript. Kind of depends on my workflow or what I feel like using that day. And I've done a few videos on Descript, which does this really well and makes it really easy. Lately, I've been playing around with Premiere Pro again, which also allows you to correct and download your transcript from there. When you have it corrected, you can export it by hitting these three dots and go to export. And then this is a little bit clunky because if you export to a text file, you're going to have timestamps in your text file. If you use the CSV option, you're going to want to highlight all of column D. You're going to want to um, copy that and then paste that into a text document so that it's all one fluid flowing transcript. However, a lot of people don't know this or they forget, but YouTube transcribes your video as well and it does it completely for free. So if you go to your video, go to the three dots down here, go show transcript, you may have to hit the vertical three dots to toggle your timestamps on and off. So you can come through here and just copy everything all at once and then paste that into a text document. Or I'm gonna paste mine right into Notion, but when I paste anything into Notion that I wanna pick up again, through copy and paste, I like to put it in as code so it just kind of stays like this. And you can go through here and correct any words that didn't get transcribed correctly and know that you have a corrected transcript. There's one more tool I wanna show you that is really phenomenal at doing this and then has a whole bunch of other AI tools attached to it, and that is Cast Magic. With Cast Magic, you can either upload your video file or just paste in your YouTube link. As long as your video is live and public on YouTube, it'll pull the video for you and then it will transcribe it. So you can select yourself as your speaker. It has your transcript here in sections. Edit anything that you want to edit. Once it's corrected, you can download the text. This is gonna open up in a text 
document. So now I have my transcript here. Now that you have that corrected transcript, hopefully with the help of AI, we can turn that into a blog post really easily so that you don't have to actually sit down and type out and write a blog post. In fact, I don't even really think of it as writing a blog post. I think of it as building a blog post. There are two ways that you can go about doing that. You could go straight to ChatGPT with an all-in-one prompt like this one. I like this because it is all-in-one and I've been using this lately. I keep all of my ChatGPT prompts that I've used and tried in one database inside of my own Notion, but I'm going to copy this. We're going to bring it over to ChatGPT and hit paste. And you notice we do need to put in our keyword. So for this keyword I'm gonna use is teleprompter for YouTube. And then we have our transcript. So I'm just gonna take this whole transcript, copy, and then paste it in, and then hit go. And this is going to start working on this blog post for me. Now this video is about 12 minutes, a little over 12 minutes long. If you have longer videos than that, you may run into a problem where your transcript is too long to fit into chat GPT. And if that's the case, then you may have to do this in sections. Or while this is working, let me show you what cast magic can do because we used this to get our transcript. But if you switch over to AI content, this has already done a lot of really cool AI work for you. So using the video that we uploaded, it's giving me 10 options for titles. So these could be blog post titles. You could even decide to retitle your video if you think Cast Magic came up with something better. We have all of these keywords. We even have an introduction. This is a really long introduction, but if you wanted to add some more content to the actual video itself, to the description of the video, you could go ahead and do that. We have some timestamps here if you needed to use those. This question and answers section, this is what's fascinating for a blog post because You've created the video. This is telling you what some maybe common questions would be where you're actually answering this question in the video, but these would make great questions to put into your blog post. And we have key topics and bullet points coming on down a little bit further. You have some, this, they call this the clip finder. So it's finding quotes, hooks, timestamps. So you can use some of these to uh, maybe decide that there are certain sections that you could go into more detail on within the blog post. And let's see, we have a real script, a LinkedIn post, you have an email newsletter here. This is a really long email newsletter. Um, but oh, we also have a tweet thread. Look at that. Discussion questions. Um, threads by Instagram. Um, so it's going to take this video and turn it into a bunch of different possible pieces of content, whatever might work for you. And I think for a blog post, you definitely want to look at these titles and see if anything here is going to work for your blog post. You're going to want to, um, you don't want a, 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 an intro this long for your blog post, but you might be able to pull some really good points out of there. And I'll show you what to look for in just a second. And then these answer questions and answer section also would be really great to include in your blog post. So back to chat GPT, let's see how it did. It looks like it looks like it got a really great blog post out of this. I have a few more things to show you, but if you found this video helpful so far, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one. But if you're creating YouTube videos and turning them into blog posts because you want to build a thriving online business and a thriving YouTube channel, my best tip for that is coming up. So let's get this blog post actually built inside of my WordPress. So I use WordPress for my blog at vidpromom.com. I started a new post. Remember I said we don't want any like cutesy or clever titles here. We really want this to be 
SEO optimized for Google searches. And the key phrase that I'm going to be going for for this blog post is teleprompter for YouTube or teleprompter for YouTube videos. So I'm going to just say using a teleprompter ultimate guide for YouTube zoom and videos. I came up with this without the help of AI. But again, you can use your cast magic or use what chat GPT is giving you if you think that it's doing a better job I'm going to copy this whole thing. And I'm going to paste it right in here. So we have everything that chat GPT just wrote for us. We're going to proofread it, we're going to rearrange it, we're going to edit it. Now for the intro, I'm going to come over here to cast magic and borrow some of this. I'm just going to let's hit copy content, we'll bring it over. I'm going to start a new paragraph right here. And we could use the um, paragraph that ChatGPT gave us. I don't know. I didn't really like it. Um, but we're going to edit this a little bit here. If you notice that Cast Magic is it's geared toward uh, podcasters or people that have like an episode. So it's creating this intro based on on the fact that it's trying to describe an episode of a show. Um, so some of that has to be either taken out or reworded. Just scrolling through here, I can see like this would be great for show notes, probably if this was a podcast episode, but that's not really what it is. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm going to take all the way up to here, hit delete. And also if you have your video and it's already published and you have your description, your actual description, what you put on the, at the top of your description, if you have SEO optimized that already and already written it, then it probably makes sense for your blog post as well. So let's paste that in. This is optimized for teleprompter for YouTube videos. And an alternative way of saying this, teleprompter setup for YouTube videos. Now we have our intro. It's short, it's specific, and it's SEO optimized. Now I already mentioned that this is like bare minimum blogging for YouTube creators. And, you know, there hasn't been much time even really put into this. I've barely even written anything. So if you do just this, you're you're going to get some traffic to your blog. That's going to help people reach you and find you on YouTube. But there are a few more things that I want to make sure that you know about to do. And one of those things is linking to things. So I would definitely want to link to the teleprompter that I am talking about here. So I'm going to link to my Amazon affiliate link for that pretty much anywhere that I mention it. Um, unless I, I mention it like a hundred times and I'm not going to do that. And then any other affiliate links we obviously would want to um, connect in here too. But you might also want to link to other videos that you have or other blog posts that you have. And one easy way of doing that is if you use Yoast SEO, which is a plugin for WordPress, not only is it going to help you SEO optimize your post, which we'll do in a moment, but it also helps you find internal linking suggestions. And I don't think that works on the free version. I think you have to have the paid version of Yoast. But what this does is it analyzes what you just wrote here and tells you what it thinks you might want to link to within your own content, which also helps the overall SEO of your blog. So YouTube channel art, planning out YouTube videos, Canon R10, um, probably my YouTube studio. This would work. So I'm going to copy this link. And I think I'll put this here. So I like to do this. Um, YouTube studio setup at home. I have the link right there. There we go. We'll open this in a new tab and then make this bold. And it tells us over here on the right that we did, we already linked to it. So we're good there. Ideally, you would link to more than just one other thing in your in your blog. And we're already linking out to the video, which is good. So we have one outbound link. We have a we have one internal link. And then we have, of course, our affiliate links. Now I mentioned this Yoast SEO plugin, and this is not AI, and it, it's nothing new. But it is 
pretty critical for me in um, getting my video published and getting it optimized for the right keywords and key phrases and things like that. So what we do with Yoast, I already showed you, we grabbed our internal linking suggestion. So it reviewed this post and told us what other things we should probably be linking to, which is really helpful. It takes a lot of time out of figuring that out by doing that for me. It also has what it calls the readability analysis. Ideally, we want to have a green smiley face here for both readability analysis and premium SEO analysis. We'll get to the SEO in just a minute. But for readability, it's giving us a grade. It's basically giving us a score for all of the different kind of readability points. So this let me know that the sentence length is a little too long for some of these sentences. And usually if I have a really bad percentage here, I'll just hit this little eyeball. It will highlight all of the places where there are really long sentences. And I will sometimes take those, like take this whole paragraph, come in, copy this, come over to ChatGPT, start a new chat, and say, can you rewrite these sentences so they are shorter than 20 words? It took a little bit of finessing here, but I think I got some shorter sentences out of this. So I have those shorter sentences in there. If I turn my eyeball back on, they're not highlighted. So you can do this throughout your whole blog post if you want to, if you feel like it will benefit you. But I already have a green smiley for readability analysis, so I'm okay with this one being read for now. So moving on to the premium SEO analysis, the way this works is Yoast is going to want to know what is the focus key phrase that you are trying to rank for. For example, it's not telling me you know, yes, this post is going to rank in the search results. It doesn't really tell me whether I'm choosing a good search phrase or keyword. Um, it just tells me if we've optimized well for the keyword that we want. So um, I'm going to say teleprompter for YouTube. I'm going to say that's my key phrase. And you can see uh, we went already from green to orange. So now that it knows what my focus key phrase is, it can tell me what to do to make this particular post better optimized for that key phrase. So it's telling me I don't have any images. That is true. And I'm just going to be okay with that for right now. I have a video in here. So I feel like if people need images, they can watch the video. Um, key phrase distribution. Let's turn this eyeball on. So this is just telling me that it's very uneven. Large parts of your text don't contain the key phrase or its synonyms. So we have it up here. We have it here. Uh, so it's all towards the top and then the bottom, but the middle part doesn't really talk about teleprompter for YouTube. We could do something like that. And doing that took us from red to orange. So we're, we're doing pretty good there. I'm going to turn that off. We do need to adjust our meta description. And the way we do that is I'm going to take my intro, take this little pencil, open this up and we're going to write a short meta description. This is usually what shows up in the search results below the title. So it wants the meta description to be a short enough length that the whole thing fits here. So we're good there. We'll hit return to post and that meta description is now giving us a green light. So we're good there. And in fact, we're good with our green smiley face completely. So I'm gonna call this good. I'm just gonna hit save as draft. So let's get out of Yoast, open up our post details here. There's a couple other things that we wanna do before we hit publish on this. Like we wanna make sure that our categories are set here. So this is going to fall under shooting YouTube videos and creating videos. And then we don't do tags, but we do need our featured image. And for featured images, I usually just use the thumbnail. And I'll just hit 
preview over here so that I can see what this looks like on the front end before I hit publish. So this is what it will look like once it's actually published. Obviously you're going to proofread it, check for grammar, anything like that before you are comfortable hitting publish. But this is a great bare minimum blog post for a YouTube video. It's based solely on your actual piece of content. Now hopefully you can see that this bare minimum blogging is really pretty simple when you work it into your video workflow. And I cannot stress this enough. If you've already done the work to create a YouTube video, you've already done like 90% of the work to create a well-structured, well-optimized blog post. And if you're creating YouTube videos to build your brand, to build your business, why wouldn't you want all of the free organic Google traffic that you can get your hands on, right? Especially when you build a library of binge-worthy videos where you're also getting organic traffic to your content through YouTube. And if you're not sure how to make your channel a binge-worthy channel, I have a video that I'll queue up for you here showing you exactly how to do that.